We are continuing our coverage on the death of former South Carolina State Senator Arthur Ravenel Jr. His family says he died on Monday at the age of 95. And this is Jordan Siopa is live on the top of the News 2 roof and behind her is the Ravenel Bridge. Jordan. Brendan Aaron, Arthur, Arthur Ravenel Jr. is probably best known for his decades long political career here in South Carolina and in Washington, D.C. Now today I had the opportunity to speak with former colleagues and friends he made along the way. Arthur Ravenel Jr., known to many as a prominent South Carolina and U.S. politician, but to the people he worked with, he was much more. If I needed help in any kind of way, um, he would be there. I can remember working on Capitol Hill. I had just had my first son, and child care was so expensive. And he said, Dolores, you could bring that baby in the office on days when the house is out of session and watch your baby right here in the office. And, and that's what I did. He's a family person. Dr. Dolores DeCosta knew Ravenel since she was a young girl in Allendaw. She eventually went on to work with him when he served in the U.S. House of Representatives. She credits Ravenel for jumpstarting her 20-year career in Washington, D.C., working for other members of Congress. One thing that I really liked about Arthur, he was very, he, he, was, he was such a Southern gentleman, but he was to the point. You did not have to guess what he was trying to tell you. I think I'm going to remember his wit, his sense of humor, his brogue, and his personality. Former South Carolina and U.S. lawmaker Tommy Hartnett held the same seat in Congress right before Ravenel. He remembers what it was like to pass the baton down to his friend. I think he did very well. Certainly he was instrumental in getting the funding for that bridge, which bears his name. And that alone, if that's all he accomplished, that would have been quite an accomplishment. A legacy that will live on forever in the low country. He's going to be missed, but... Arthur Ravenel will never be forgotten. Now, many state and local lawmakers are reacting to the news of his passing on social media. We have more on our website, countonto.com. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, Jordan Sayopa, Count on Two.